This podcast contains adult content. Hello, darlings. It's me, Margaret Marshall. And it's me, Sue Gives a Fuck. And I really do. And welcome Aww. back to Sex Positive, Positive Fem Journey. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Marshall, what's your gender today? I would say queer icon on the rise. Susan, what's your gender today? I would say mermaid in a bathtub, but there's no plug. <laughs> you can't fill the plug hole with your boobs because you haven't got any. Two ladies, two ladies, two ladies, two ladies. Well, sort of like that's very much what the podcast is about. It's like, are we ladies? So we're back. So, last episode, we left you on something of a cliffhanger. (sighs) Uh, You may remember, uh, we mentioned Large Man uh, that we were both speaking to. Yes. Since this time, both of our allocated dates have passed. Well, we have, yeah, our allocated times have passed and we have both seen him. We have both (laughs) seen him is the way to put it. That is absolutely correct. Uh, So, who wants to begin this story? You. Me. Yes. Oh, well, I usually like to begin yeah, with yeah, stories. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. All right, so uh, I had Tuesday, you may remember. So Tuesday, uh, he comes. So I'm a little bit late because, you know, the thing is, I am a femme bottom. Preparation is required. Yeah. There is makeup. I blend my makeup with a very small brush. It takes a long time. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't trust beauty blenders. They're too modern. Uh <laughs> Uh, so uh, there's makeup, Idiot. you know, there's douching, there's shaving, there's the whole thing, and he yeah. wants uh, to come around in the morning. The fucking morning. That's rude. I push him back to 11, but he, it's still the fucking morning. <gasps> and then, yeah, and then he turns, uh, sorry. No, you're going to You're going to tell it. Ahead. And then he turns up with a coffee. A he coffee. says, oh, it's fine, I'll wait, I'm going to have a coffee. And then he turned up with a coffee. When you told me that, I was like, right. oh, these tops do not even know how lucky they are. Ah, oh, anyone like who's not only a top isn't going to get like just yeah, how like, big. A, he just walks in with a takeaway coffee. Like, oh, you just you just want to bring in a symbol of of, of a symbol. Of, and sometimes, honey, that smell gets you. The smell, the smell I can think get that you. Smell can be like, oh, you think I'm sat here with a coffee? No, come on now, I can't even smell a coffee. No, I've not eaten since Wednesday. Anyway, uh, so anyway, he arrives and he's a little bit uh, miffed that I have pushed him back half an hour. Yeah. Um, Girl, like, get a grip, girl. Right, just sort yourself out. Get a grip, babes. girl. So anyway, he comes in and he he lives up to the hype. He does, I've got to say that. Well, yeah, so I was waiting and I was like, I, have to, I, I want to see him before. I want to see him in the flesh before Friday. And I looked out the window and I was like, oh, <gasps> right. What? At which point I immediately scream, he's here. And with the window open <laughs> and I had to just smack that window closed and just be like we have to pretend that which I don't do of no, course I don't, don't do I don't know he walks in the door and I say did you just hear me scream he's here he's here and he says no and I'm like oh yeah didn't need to say that did I yeah but then that's just who I am and I ran into the bathroom because I was like we, he'd made yeah, very clear because we told him that we would both going to see him right but also, you don't want to be seen in, like, I don't want to be mode. seen in, like, b- and also, like, boy mode morning. night after I perform and performed in drag. Morning like, boy mode. Hideous. Right. So, I... Still, and like, a third of makeup just yeah. over your ear. He specifically doesn't want to see me. Right. So, I run into the bathroom, because I'm not going to have my shower. Because I was... I was... Um, yeah, I had just, a meeting. And he doesn't want to see you, because also, this, this is weird enough, as yeah. it is. Yeah. All right. We're yeah. not actually a brothel. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see the one that you're going to see on Friday when you come on Tuesday. Yeah. No. Um, weird. So... Or maybe you do. I don't no. But uh, so yeah, so you run into the bathroom. I uh, we I take him to, to the bedroom, um, and you know he, he's straight into it. But that's fine because you know he's got somewhere to be, uh, and I understand that. And it's a morning session, not a problem. I prefer a little chat, but you know what? If that's where it is, we can get down to it. Yeah. Because his getting down to it is a lot of holding and kissing. And as I've mentioned, he's very large. I feel very safe in his arms. Mm. So it's. Lo- and he took his top off. He took his top off, and I'm just like. Oh, oh, like just boom. right. You live in the gym and it's worth it. Yeah, for me, for you, I'm like maybe get a hobby, like do things in your life yeah. or whatever it is. But for me, maybe you'll be able to have a chat before sex then. Well, right, right, exactly. What we're we gonna talk about? Dumbbell weights. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but so we get down to it and it's lovely and we start to hit, so we are listening to Robin's new album because it only makes sense for Queer Sex album yeah. right uh, when you listen to the lyrics Weirdly not, but you don't do that because no. he's large. It's just... I right. got feelings. It is, it's the XX yeah. for our time. Yeah. Um, not that the XX wasn't my time. Both are actually subsequent to my time in many ways. I'm 212. But, um, so we're, we're down to it. But then we start to hear this thudding, this banging that just doesn't really fit with Robin's sort of gentle, dulcet tones. Yeah. Uh, it's just a thud, 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 thud. And at the end it's like, okay, we can't ignore this um and i'm like that's definitely coming from the house i'm gonna go and check if margot what's going on there is she being like beaten over the head right i was just like i you know if you i really am into this moment but i'm like imagine if margot just literally died because i had a large man that wouldn't feel right no that wouldn't feel right if she got maimed fine Death? No. no. So I nip out to see Margot, and it turns out she is locked in the bathroom. Why were you locked in the bathroom? So, uh, before you'd gone in the bedroom, <laughs> I put the lock on the bathroom door, because I was like, I've got a sneaking suspicion, he's got coffee in his hand. Oh, good he thinking. He is either going to want to pee, or he's going to want to go well, for no a poo. thinking, as it turns you know. out. Like, so I was like, I'm going to lock the door. Yes. Um, I'm in the sham, like, living my dreams, listening to Ariana Grande, like, thank you, next, out. Crunk! I hear this massive clunk, and then the door, like, shoves, um, and then I hear you, like, oh, I think Margot's in there. (laughs) And I was like, Jesus Christ, she just tried to knock that door down. Well, I come to get out of my shower... The door handle is going down, it's going down, oh. but the door handle's been broken with a lock across. You know you've chosen the right man when he can literally break a door. He broke the <laughs> door broke handle. The door. He broke the door handle. And, like, our lock isn't part of the door handle. What? He literally just snapped the door. What I would also like to say is, you then, you know, he then comes up to the bedroom and we're making out. You don't break a door handle off without noticing. Yeah, like, he's, like, that sound was so loud. He knows that, he knows what he's he done. He knows something's going gone wrong right like something's wrong with that door but he just went and used the other bathroom right. and he has allowed it like 20 minutes for me now getting out the shower i'm like oh yeah you need to and get he's that heard reason. that banging and he knows why that's there's that banging yeah he knows he, well, he must know so before you come yeah. i've stopped and i try i'm like looking out the window i'm like how the fuck am i gonna do this yeah and i'm like i stupidly came in here with just a towel just a towel Nothing oh, you came else. to the bathroom. To the bathroom <laughs> with just a towel. Yeah. I was like, I can't even there's try no, and shimmy out the window. I no, can't shout anyone down. There's no climbing out the window like, for you. So I uh, <laughs> go and try and. Uh, I and try I'm and, late for a meeting. Also, this is. Meeting. A, I have to leave the house. I try and take the lock off the door. <coughs> Uh, using all of the equipment in my drag bag, which is mainly sort of a candle and a sponge. And weirdly enough, I had a screwdriver. You, there was so a screwdriver I've taken in the, the screws bathroom. off, off half of a side of the door. Whereas I'm just trying to do it from my end with emotions and some hope. <laughs> and uh, and so unsurprisingly, that's not working. But actually, because like the screws are really like jammed in, and it's even a screwdriver, I don't think would would have gotten no. it off. So. Uh, the next strategy is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to throw some clothes up to you so that you can shimmy out of the shimmy house. Shimmy out of the house. And so I just let him know that this is the plan and he's just like, you know, well, I, I do have to go soon. And I'm like, I, I get that. I get that. But also, if you do, I will cut you. Yeah. All right. We're having this moment. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to go out. So I just run out in my... And you, I would say 10 minutes maximum we've been trying to open that door. Maximum. 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 You, we I... were speedy queens in this moment because I was panicking the fuck out. And I was horny the fuck up. up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was horny the fuck up, as you know. And <laughs> so I run out in my little negligee because I'm wearing negligee. Yeah. Uh, and what I, what I, so I, I've brought some clothes, I've got uh, shorts, I've got a t-shirt, sure. I th- I'm throwing them up, but of course what I, what I don't do, I'm in negligee, there's no pockets, I don't bring a key. The door shuts automatically. That's how that works. So but I, you haven't realised it yet. I've catch all the things. Yeah, you catch it, and you shoot me down like fucking Lara Croft in some baseball shorts. Yeah. Uh, and a t-shirt that says Hawaii on it. Yeah. 
and I was just like, fuck it. You Ugh. just had to run off to your meeting that you were horrendously late to. Horrendously late to, hungover. Wearing just fucking baseball shorts, which is, as you may have gathered from our intonations, not Margot's aesthetic. Not, not in the least. <laughs> She'll have looked like a professional businesswoman. It's what she'll have looked like, <laughs> uh, as usual. Um, <laughs> um, and so I've shimmied down. And then you run, like, you run away. I run away. Because you have to run gone. away. I had to go. And so then I, I, I go back and I'm like, okay, going to go and get me my man. And I get to the door and the door doesn't open. So I, I knock because he's still in there, but he isn't in, he's gone. He just left. No, he's just gone. Because I interpreted... Um, I need to leave as just so that you remember yeah. I will need to leave <gasps> soon. No. But what he meant is I am leaving now. How quick was the sex going to be? Well, exactly. We had, we'd been snogging for three minutes. We'd been uh, trying to get you out for, for ten, ten minutes. minutes. So, and then you went outside to give me stuff. <gasps> oh. It had been a maximum of 20 minutes. Well, anyway, so I realised that my man has gone. I'm in negligee. <laughs> uh, and I am outside uh, on uh, what could only be described as a main road. <laughs> <laughs> the sad photo of you you posted on Facebook. It was just, I was dead. Oh. I was dead. Because I was on my way back. Yeah. Cause thankfully I got contact us on my phone I managed to get there and back Oh I See I Now I don't <laughs> post photos That aren't well lit But that one I was like Do you know what This moment is too important it's too I iconic. need to capture this uh, So um, what, I, I had to call a locksmith <laughs> The locksmith arrived Thanks fuck you'd brought your phone out with you Thank, thank fuck I brought my phone Thank fuck we both had the phones We both had the phones And that is crucial uh, But I, so I called a locksmith I waited for the locksmith Who arrived in, in reasonably good time And was quite handsome But was not interested in The sorry <laughs> sight That arrived Because I was still I was in a mode where I was like Do you know what I am if getting my it. little Right Yeah to be fair Because you've not spoiled your makeup You've not done anything wrong I've not done You've it. just had a wasted morning A wasted morning With no food And now you uh, I'm a fucking hungry at this point. Uh, so anyway, okay. I get back in the house um, uh, and and that's the end of it. So, But then anyway, so you had a date arranged on Friday. So what happened with that? How well did that date go, Margot? Well, afterwards he replied and he was like, he messaged me and he was like, did you get out the bathroom? Mm. And I was like, yeah, fine. Thankfully, I had to crawl down the side. Like three seconds yeah. after you... Like, I was left. like, if you'd waited, you would have, like, we would have walked to the fucking tube together. Um, and he was like, oh, well, do you still want to meet up? And I was like, well, you can break a door with just your hand. So, of course, yeah. So, if you want to. Um, and then we, he was like, okay, so we're still on. Um, and then I went away and decided that actually he's a dickhead. And I for stopped For various replying. reasons, I think. Well, yeah, for all of those reasons. Yeah. Like, he broke the door and he came up and, like, he just came in and he carried on. He, like, he, that sound was so loud. I was like, something's happened to the yeah. door. So what you're saying is you ghosted. I ghosted him because I was like, you're a dickhead. You go, but you hadn't like, you hadn't specified a time. This was like, we had spe- like he wasn't going to turn up on like, a, like a, on Friday at a time. I mean, I just said Friday evening. Yeah. And you had ghosted him. It wasn't like on Friday afternoon that you ghosted him. No, like I ghosted Wednesday. him on like Wednesday. Yeah. Like I said the door thing and then I think he messaged me something. I can't be bothered to talk on my phone. Like, oh, so Friday. And I was just like, okay. <sighs> Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. You left me locked in a bathroom. Right. You don't. They. You do that to Sue. You don't do that to me. Exactly. We're very different women. You do what you want to Sue. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> but uh, um, so it, the the date didn't happen. Yeah. So basically, this sex positive femme journey episode it isn't ends. about sex at all. No, there's no sex it's, been had. Um, not for want of trying. Not for want of trying. I message him on the Saturday, delighted to hear that there's been no sex had because yeah. I'm like, okay, he's just mine now. Yeah. Margot has, uh, she has thrown from her table the crumbs that Susan may mop up uh, <laughs> with gratitude and she will mop them up uh, willingly. And his basic position is, should I read the messages? Wait. Yeah, because I've not, I, I, I didn't realise that you'd messaged again. Oh, 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 I messaged in, uh, in a very I, desperate I, I Susan swallowed fashion. some serious pride. Why? Um, I don't get it. He doesn't deserve it. And just to confirm, after, so before, right, before Friday, so after, when he left, yeah. we'd messaged and he said that you looked great. Uh, thanks for making an effort. Uh, you're really hot. I'd love to meet up with you again. 
Um, yeah. And I said to him, uh, you lived up to the hype. Uh, cute. Uh, and he said, was it my sense of humour? And I said, yes, it made up for your terrible body. It was cute. You know, we were having a yeah. nice chat. Uh, <laughs> now, post Friday, I messaged him to say... When would you like your rescheduled appointment at Walthamstow's Strangest Brothel? No reply. Um, so then, two hours later, I message, Sorry, that was too weird. <laughs> would you be up for meeting up again? You can't go backwards on tone, can you? No. Uh, would you be up for meeting up again? I'll banish Margot so she can't sabotage. I, you can see I go back to uh, Kinky Weirdo. Tone. Yeah, yeah. Um, Uh. He says, not weird at all. I never met Margot. She never confirmed. I'm going to give it a miss, though. It's a long way for me to go. And I said... Where does he live? I I don't know. He mentioned Liverpool Street, but people don't live in Liverpool Street. Oh, get a grip, hun. I don't know. I think maybe he was going into Liverpool Street and then somewhere, and then to Walthamstow. Oh, God. Anyway, so I say, uh, I could come to you, or are you not about that? No reply. Nothing daunted. I, I, I'm, I, I'm nothing you about the system. You are not afraid to double... Double message. Double message. I'm not yeah. afraid to double anything, boy. No. Um, <laughs> 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 so I'm this sort of gentle Edwardian lady, and yeah, I'm also very much the crass one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and then I say, I guess you have the impression that Margot and I are pretty flaky, huh? He replies, yes. It's not flaky that you're a dickhead and I made a decision and he's and I'd also just like to point out he he sent one message mm. like oh what are we going to do on Friday or oh, well, like when we oh, meet yeah. on Friday you had like, not you had, had, we a had long-term and that was on Wednesday like right. and we'd had one conversation and we'd never met in person like hell, this is grinder huh he's so hot he's never been treated like this is this what it is ah. Uh, He's so visually hot, but like... The thing is, he's also... Do you know what? He's so hot and he's into femmes. We be desperate. Well, no, we don't be desperate. Uh, You be desperate, bitch. No, but the thing is about femmes, right? In gay world... Yeah. And Grindr is about gay world. Yeah. Whereas this journey has taken us a little bit out of gay world. But in gay world, if you're femme, you don't get as many offers. If you are... If you look like... But that's what he's into. That's, I mean, that is true, and we are also this few... The only way I would have sex with him now is if I topped him to show him how the fuck to be treated. Oh, you would not be gentle. No. We've already mentioned that rod of flesh. (laughs) Why do I keep bringing it up? It's getting uncomfortable. (laughs) Right, so... uh, It is, actually. I need to get some new pants. (laughs) (laughs) Disgusting. (gasps) You just need to get in the bed. (laughs) Right, so... um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm furious. You, you don't just reply yes. Come on, that is rude. Uh, but I, I swallow it down. Oh my god, you don't go again. Oh, I, oh, I go again. Oh, Susan, go you again. are so pathetic. I have, I have a stern <laughs> word, and then I soften it right down, and I get back to being saccharinely desperate. I say, hey, now be reasonable. I was as annoyed as you that the first time didn't work out. I think you're gorgeous, and would love to meet up with you. And if we do meet, I promise to be ready on time. Shh, no comments. Uh, if you're not into it, it's fine, but I'm not Margot and there's no need to be rude to me. He does reply. He does <gasps> reply. He says, my intention was not to be rude. Sorry if I came across that way. It was a 40 minutes each way journey. And yes, the toilet thing was nobody's fault, but you were still 50 minutes late. 30. It was not 50 minutes. It was 30 minutes. Um, he says, I don't have that kind of time. Ah, uh- It's like, bitch... Bye. Bitch, you were... I don't have that kind of time. Can I just establish, we were meeting at 11.30 on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Bitch, you have job. that time. Right. You have that time. What are you... What You're going to miss one fucking, like, set of reps or something. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Right. I do not give a shit that you can kill me with your thighs. I will kill you with my stare. You seem to be under the impression that I've stopped messaging. I haven't oh. stopped messaging. Oh. So I say... Okay, well, it's up to you. I'm sorry for not being ready in time, and I'm happy to come to you if that makes things easier. No worries if not, because um, because I I hate myself and I've got no I've got no respect. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't reply. So, <laughs> listeners, uh, maybe for this episode, what we'd like is uh, if what you some can... comments. Whose side are you on right, uh, by the end of on? this? What does Margot owe me? Is the main question I think that we need to ask here. Fuck all. I did nothing in that fucking... I, like, it's not my fault. I had to go to a meeting. I went to that meeting and looked completely unprofessional. It is his fault. It's his fault. It's not that oh, I blame him. Day one, 
I think it was either his fault or no one's fault. Oh, what? And because I didn't have sex with him, <laughs> you can't have sex with him, Susan. You've had so you've had a you've had a change in tact. Is that right? Sorry, I was having a sip of wine. <laughs> <laughs> when are you I not? have had a same change. I alluded to it last week. Right. What is this sex positive femme journey? It's basically just me changing my gender on Tinder to female. Yeah. Okay. That's basically what's actually happening. For you. For me. Um, and believe me, oh, any queers out there, if you're debating it, do it. It gets niche. Oh, shit gets weird. Shit gets weird so quickly. Really? Um, so I've... Uh, See, I've not done this, so I'm very interested to hear about this. Mm, well, I don't know. Would it fit with you? Because we were saying, like, I don't know. Do you want to be female? No, I think sense? it would maybe only be for that moment. So I would okay. literally just, like, because I really just want them on the catalogue for, like, after my gigs, mm. when I'm already in drag, or, like, a couple of days when I'm like, oh, uh, well, today I actually quite want to do it like that. You need them in the book. You need them, because actually building yeah. up a sex life out of one night stands is, it just takes admin. 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 So I have still not met up with any of them. Uh, it's we're in we're in the chatting stages, yeah. it's early stages. Yeah. But I have had conversations with uh, with two actually interesting gentlemen. Oh. So the first gentleman, uh, and I call him a gentleman, but really what I should call him is a child. Um, <laughs> he's nineteen. Okay, thank God. I was about to be like, right, whoa. He's seven. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's very promising. <laughs> No, he's he's nineteen, uh, and he is a straight Essex lad, bit of rough. He mm. has said that he's gonna he's what he's gonna do. He's gonna make me feel like a real woman, which, as far as I can work it out, mainly involves being pounded. <laughs> <laughs> so he is planning to give me a rough time, a rough time, and I'm fully on board with this. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so this was now a week ago and we've been chatting for a week. Yeah. Uh, sort of continuously. Actually, we switched... Wow. Uh, yeah, we've, we've switched from Tinder to WhatsApp and then to Snapchat. You know, sometimes there are pictures. Um, Ooh, and like we, sexy pictures. There are all... Sometimes... <laughs> yeah, sexy pictures. <laughs> no, sometimes I'll just draw my emotions in watercolour and send them to him. It's you. Uh, but anyway, over the course of that period... oh. <sighs> He's gone from being my Essex lad, bit of rough, straight man, to really my drag daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, what? He was on a bigger journey than I was. Oh. So oh. he's going to come round, and we we like we've just we've decided we're going to have sex. Will it? Ha- I don't know whether. So I- he's into cross dressing no no this is all so new for him because as i've established he's seven he doesn't yeah. know what he wants but he has voiced an interest do, or oh do you know what he is he is using me as a stepping stone which is fine because i'm you know a femme yeah and so i'm halfway to woman for him yeah. so it's a, i do you know what i think he is i think that he's just a gay bottom with some emotions who wants to get into drag <sighs> he'll be uh. pretty as a drag queen Really? Really pretty. Uh, so I, you know, he's going to come round with the plan of having some drinks and some sex, but I've also said I'll do his drag makeup. I oh. have a strong prediction that I'm going to do his drag makeup. There'll be no sex. There, there will be, be drinks. There will be, de- well, there better be drinks. Well, if it's just drinks, I'll come. You- oh my God, let's both dress him up. Cute, let's Please. dress him up. Let's literally have, oh, oh, this makes me so happy because we did this the other day with our housemate. We did, and it was so much fun. It was more fun than we ever thought it than would be. Than we ever thought it would be. Oh my God. That is sex positive femme journey as a mother. <gasps> oh, you know what? Encouraging kind of- somebody else's sex positive femme journey. Oh my God, we are doing outreach here. What kind of mother are you going to be? <gasps> oh, what kind Ooh, of mother am I going to be? Game. I feel like you're going to be really do. Ting. No, I feel like come you're on be now. quite sort of no, but you're going to be very low or not not doting, but there's going to be like a lot of focus on them. Does that make sense? <laughs> like it's not going to be kind. Yeah. I am Joan Crawford, mommy dearest. I envy the fact that they're young and beautiful because and- it's going to be beautiful. Whereas I don't know. I think. You're going to be Julianne Moore in Boogie Nights. Yes! Right? Just gently pounding him away while just saying, it's okay, baby. You're going to love that. Welcome to the world. (laughs) Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. Problematic. (laughs) Um, Anyway, my second man is 
Oh, uh, cool. Right, so we're going back to Tinder now. Oh, yeah. So you're oh, going to you tell us... like, oh, it's time for Margot's story. No, we're still going. No, no, no. I don't have I don't have a good enough one this week. Okay, nice. I, that's our shared one. Because it was going to be him, and then I decided... And so I've not actually had any sex to be quiet to honest, this week. Margaret Marshall. Um, you've, you've not put the work in. Do you know what you've been doing? Shows. <laughs> <laughs> you should be turning down bookings for this shit. Because Lord knows I am not getting any. So, I... <laughs> Uh, the second gentleman uh, is called, we won't do names, obviously, for obvious reasons. We'll call him Tim, because mm. that's his name. We were chatting for a while, and once again, standard Susan, it was getting intimate, romantic. Yeah. But, like, I mean, I say standard, not standard. Okay. I inc- for example, uh, let me read to you one message that, that really typifies the point. Uh, he says... Um, I am going to make love to you... Uh, no, sorry. Uh, I'm going to make love... Where is it? Here we go. Right. I'm going to make love to the woman in you. I'm going to fuck so deep, I'm going to find your soul. Oh! My oh. soul? Soul? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> He's getting that religious level depth. Honey, do you have to fist to get that deep? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how Jesus encourages it to be done, yes. <laughs> It is harder for a rich man to pass through heaven than it is for a fist through the eye of your needle. Sauron? (laughs) (laughs) I understand religion. (laughs) I get it. I get it. Welcome, kids. So, uh, anyway, he's saying things like this. Uh, so he is a, uh, a gentleman from Dubai who actually uh, is a virgin. Touch for the very first time. Touch for the very first time. Also red flags, do you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's getting intimate. I'm like, do you know what? If, if you just get your rocks off... But will all this just fizzle right, away? Exactly. You're just horny. You've got pent-up horniness yeah. that's been built up over the course of 28 years. 28 right it's okay no judgment like you pick when you first have sex but yeah (sighs) this is a different that's a lot of horniness a lot of horniness that was that would be just difficult to cope with emotionally right if i can remember like how intense it was being a teenager and like being like "Ah, how do i touch myself Ah, but i must you know the difference then was that you were watching all of your friends have sex and you were like yeah. not oh. having sex, whereas he was not watching any of his friends have sex. That's d- yeah, that's true. Okay, interesting cultural different life isn't differences. It? But so he uh, is all intimate like that, and he's essentially straight. So I'm I don't know what he's really doing, but he tells me this story uh, about like I don't know. He had like a a friend who has turned out to be trans later, okay. um, right? And. So I think that that was a bit of a baptism for him. And like, I don't know, he's just been into trans Mm. for a long time. Um, All right. So I can get on board with that. And so we uh, plan to uh, meet up uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Very excited. So he's mentioning like, you know, what we're going to do. And I say, you know, how would you like me to dress? Yeah. Uh, In my very deferential subby way that I do. Yeah. Um, And he says, well, I did see one photo of yours on Instagram. Oh, he's done some research. You know, and I have about three followers, so I was delighted to find somebody else. else. Yeah. Uh, That's my fourth Number four. (laughs) Here we go. We're on the big time. Okay. So which, in which image does he think that I look most beautiful? Um, I can think of one. Oh. I can d- I can think of one oh. that I would really I'd be like that snatched. Which one would you go with? Like you're in the daddy crop top. Oh uh, yeah, that's oh when I won the Michelle Visage competition. Yeah, <gasps> right. I can't tell. Sometimes from. counterintuitively, Susan does win things. I say sometimes she wins all the things. She just no one then books her on the back of them. Um, anyway, uh, but <laughs> uh, he uh, doesn't select that one. He says uh, this image, and he he sends me a link, and I, I open the link, uh, and it's me uh, dressed up. As uh, Theresa May. <laughs> what? He would like me to dress up as Theresa May. You mean when that Guardian ar- article came out, he mm. was like at home, like pulling the patch. Right. What? Right. So I just don't know. But there's. But all the other pictures are around. But also remember, he's from Dubai, so I'm like, do you know that that's Theresa May? <gasps> Is it just oh, an older woman? Is it just an older trans woman? Is that what he wants? So but you're not that. 
Well, I, I, I was, well, so I asked him, and he didn't know it was Theresa May. <laughs> so he just wanted you in a grey wig with, like, wrinkles paint on Because you don't even contour when you've got that on. Well, the thing is, I'm wearing Theresa May, so I'm wearing her sort of, you know, her a power dress, mm. stood in Theresa May stance, you know, with your legs essentially in splits. Yeah. Because uh, that's how apparently the Conservatives have to stand. And so this is a powerful old woman who's the Prime Minister. I sh- what I should say is I've agreed to it. God. Oh, because it's very much my thing to agree to things. So you know what the hardest thing yeah. about this to pull off is going to be? No. It's not the idea of him having sex with you because he wants to be an older woman. It's just going to be you trying to be powerful in bed. No, but is it though? Right, right. How you, are you going to pull that off? No, but he wants an older woman. So does he want older women because they're like frail? Is that part of his thing, or does he want this I mean, specific older woman who is the prime minister of the fucking United Kingdom? How do I... In, so uh, many le- right? too many levels of Do questions. I do my Theresa May voice? Which goes like... I'm not doing it. <laughs> Let, come on. No, no. Come on, I want to get out. We want a preview, um, don't we, listeners? Come on. Wait. Um, Just how would you greet him at the door? I would I would hold up my Instagram photo, and he w- I would have that makeup on, and I would say... <laughs> Remind you of anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Bing! Erection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I can literally can promise you I'm the least turned on I've ever been in my life right now. <laughs> uh, basically, that's the end. Uh, we'll keep you posted. So that's... That's that's that. That's That's the end of the story. <laughs> Now it's time for You've Got Mail, M-A-L-E. Ugh. <laughs> so, Ms. Marshall, Hi. what is your message of the week? Um, <laughs> the strangest message. The strangest week. message I got this week. Um, I just opened it and it was um, destroymyhole.com. Oh. Nothing Wait, else. That's verbatim. That's yeah, what that was, you that received. That was it. Destroymyhole.com. Did you click on the link? No, it wasn't a link. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't because it didn't have any W or anything at the beginning. It was just destroymyhole.com. Because I hear that and I think of a scam. But if that's a scam, that is a lazy scam. It's a lazy scam. It's a lazy scam. And no profile, nothing. Just three W's on the front and it's yeah, done. Yeah, just, yeah, so. So, wait, have you go- searched it? No. No, I haven't. Should I do it right now? Oh my God, search it. Oh God, this is going to be a worry. Maybe this is the personal website of someone whose hole you're going to destroy it. Or maybe this is uh, an online game. Uh, it's like whack-a-mole, uh, where you, you just destroy bum holes. Basically Definitely. what I'm doing is I'm filling time. Filling time <laughs> while I see this. Destroy my whole... <laughs> Yourhottestlovers.com Wait. Oh. Show you new pics of real men in the area that want to fuck right now. We need to ask a few quick questions. Wow. Oh! He wanted, me, he wanted me to go to this link because he wanted to share nudes with me this way. No, he didn't. And then uh, on this... this site are real guys, and they're looking to fuck all no, the time. No, no. Scam. Scam. Let's find out. Let's So let's find out. Scam. Well, let's find out if they want any... Wait, listener, what I should say is, it's very common on Grinder if you don't know, um, because you might be heterosexual, and if you are, thank you for uh, taking a risk on, on something that might be a little bit tangential. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. But, yeah, on Grinder, you get a lot of messages from very attractive people uh, that will send you... Uh, they'll chat to you, and then they'll send you a link to a site, and you'll be like, ah, oh, yes, of course, credit card details. Nice to meet you. But so, no, no... Um, no credit card details. No credit card details as of, as of yet. But why wouldn't he just go on Snapchat? Snapchat is known. Yeah, it's really weird. Although, Snapchat is designed so that people can't, like, you know, publish your things, but you can save people's images. Oh, yeah, they'll just know about it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They'll know about it. So while I do this, what is your... Oh, they want my email address. Yeah, this is a... This is a yeah. Why would you sign up to Why that? Why would you sign up to that? That's not... I don't get it. Like, grind is there. Just send me your nudes. Just send them out. Just... But also, you know, we live in a world now where there's not a gay in the world who, like, you know, when, when our generation is getting famous... Well, when your generation is getting famous... Yeah, I was uh, like, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> when you're doing your funeral last week. <laughs> <laughs> my third one. <laughs> it was my favourite. Um, when your generation is getting famous, there's you know there's not going to be a celebrity. We're gonna the public will lose interest in news. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boring. Right. So boring. Uh, and so you know, just get on with it. Anyway, um, what is your weirdest message of the week? Well, my weirdest message is from a gentleman on Tinder who says, um, I bet you're touching yourself right now. <laughs> Which, statistically, it's not a very good bet. That's a terrible bet. <laughs> I, How much know, time does this person think you I've have? It's a job. Do you know what, what? I mean? <laughs> it's just a life to live. Right, I've got to go to the shops. Just, you know, most of the time, I'm not touching myself. <laughs> no. Some of the time. So, yeah, but that's... Thirty percent, perhaps. But, wow, but that's so uh, like no, no, idiot, moron. Met next, next. Swipe left. Up. Um. So here we go. Finally, man of the week. Man of the week. Uh. Every time. Oh uh, no. Uh, okay, so, Ms. Marshall, who this week is your man of the week? Um, well, since feeling sassy and not, you know, wanting big muscle man, um, and mm. I, like, went out not them this down. week. I oh. shut him down. I was not feeling it. My man of the week is me. <gasps> oh, she's so I feel flexed. like a man this week. You're a man! I feel like a man this week. I'm having a really good time. Um, I went out, like, as me, met some cute boys. It was cute. I had a great time. Oh. And I was just like, you know what? This week, no. I just wanted to get the drag off, peel it, drop it on the floor. This is just why I'm so fluid. Just, I literally cannot tell. I will literally just wake up and be like, mm. oh. Like, I put on my bike, biker leathers. I was feeling it. Fluidity is unsettling. Who am I going to wake up sharing a house with? This week is Builder Steve. Uh, um, <laughs> not that far. No, B- Builder Steve's trousers are somewhat less floral than those. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so, Susan. Yes. Uh, who is your man of the week? Uh, my man of the week. Uh, well, I've decided actually it's going to be my new drag daughter. Just oh. purely on the basis that the way that this is headed, I think that next week he will no longer be a man. Oh. Right. <laughs> He's a man of the week because it's his last week as a man. Oh, before we welcome him to the welcome. sex positive femme journey. Oh, oh, that's so cute. 